mind. Since they cut my tongue, another tongue, it seems, has been wagging somewhere in my skull. Something has been talking or someone that suddenly falls silent. And then it begins again. I hear too many things I never utter. What a jumble. Enough over my mouth, it's like pebbles rattling together. At least one thing is certain. I am waiting for the missionaries to come and take my place. That's all they could say. Go to the savages and tell them. Here is my lord. Just look at him. He never strikes or kills. He turns the other cheek. Choose him. Just see how much better he's made me. Offend me and you'll see. Yes, I believed. And felt better. for so long. When I was home, my coarse father, my boorish mother, the pork soup every day in the long winter. Oh, I wanted to get away. Leave them all and begin to live at last in the sunlight with fresh water. sun that struck me in his account, but the cruelty of the savage inhabitants, and the town closed all outsiders. Only one of those who tried to get in, one alone to his knowledge had lived to relate what he had seen. They had whipped him, and driven him out into the desert after having put salt on his wounds, in his mouth. Since then I've been dreaming about his tail, about the fire, the salt in the sky, about the house of the fetish, and his slaves. Could anything more barbarous, more exciting be imagined? Yes, that was my mission. I had to go and reveal to them my lord. I despised the priests for doing so little when they could do so much. They lack faith. I had it. that it wasn't missionary country, that I wasn't ready yet. I had to prepare myself specially, know who I was, and even then go through tests. I shook my big head and repeated the same thing, to get among the most barbarous and show them the Lord's truth would prevail. I was never sure of myself otherwise, but once I get an idea, I don't let go of it. Converting good folk who had strayed somewhat was the shabby ideal of our priests. I despised them. I fled the seminary, 
I'd rob the treasurer's office, cast off my habit, took a guide to get across the mountains, then the endless sea of sand and rocks, <gasps> screaming with heat. Thirty days travel from any living thing to the city of salt. My guide struck me, stole my money, but he left me on the trail. Dog, there's the way. Go ahead, go on, they'll show you. Yes. risen higher. My forehead is beginning to burn. A film of heat is beginning to rise from the trail. The only cool thing is the rifle's barrel. Cool as the fields. As the evening rain long ago when the soup was simmering. They'd wait for me. My father and mother would occasionally smile at me. Perhaps I love them. But that's all in the past. Come on, missionary. I'm waiting for you. Now I know how to answer the message my new master's told me. And I know they are right. What a jumble when the heat rises. The shade itself is heating up. The sun striking like a hammer on all the stones. The music. The vast music of known air and stones vibrating over hundreds of miles. Years ago, pale with fatigue, my ear bleeding from the blow given by my guide. My ankles tied with a cord. They, tall and black, without saying a word, undressed me, shaved my head and body, beat my face with cords. On my knees, covered with blood, I was dragged to the house of the fetish. I spent several days within the dark. Some grain was thrown before me the way chickens are fed. I was made to drink a black, bitter water and at once my head began to burn. Several days, long after. The door opened wide, and then he came towards me. He stopped a yard away from me. The jumble was beginning in my head. He seized me by my lower lip, which he twisted slowly until he tore my flesh. On my knees, mad with pain, I screamed. Yes, I howled with fright, and then the counts between those walls. My face torn, my men exhausted, I tried to pray to the British. Still, exit. His iron nose twisted like a snake. Heat is waiting, I must kill him. Not a bird, stone, and our desire, their screams, his tongue within me talking. And since they mutilated me, the long suffering deprived even the water of night, the night of which I dream. Alone with its cool 
stars and dark fountains could save me. Carry me off at last from the wicked gods of mankind. I'll see it rise from the desert and sweep over the sky, a golden vine that will hang from the dark zenith and from which I can drink at length. Moisten this black, dried hole and forget that day when madness took away my tongue. at the foot of the idol. He rose. The fetish looked at me out of that merciless body. I approached. My feet touched hers. The heat then began to shriek in the idol without a word, staring at me with the dilated eyes. Crashly slipped onto her back, slowly drew her legs up and raised them as she gently spread her knees. She did while lying away from me. Then I entered and tore me from the woman, even directly on that simple face. It clocked me against the wall. I had a steel grip my jaws and I opened my mouth, pulled on my tongue until it bled. A cruel, cunning caress that's cruel at last went over my tongue. When I came to, I was alone in the night, glued to the wall, covered with heart and blood. A gag of strange smelling grasses filled my mouth. And it stopped bleeding, but it was vacant. The only living thing was a tormenting pain. I wanted to rise. I fell back happy. Desperately happy to die at last. Death toe is cool. people as they'd mutilated me. And when I learned the missionary was to come, I knew what I had to do. Father Baffert will come. He'll be here in two days. That was all I heard. How crazy, how crazy. They were allowing a hand to be laid on the city on the true God. I swore to save my new faith whatever it cost me. The reign of evil would be postponed. There'd be doubt again. Again, time would be wasted dreaming of the impossible good. I swore to save my new faith, whatever it cost me. Soon, soon, I hope you come soon. In a moment they'll begin to look for me. They'll spread over the trails in all directions. They won't know they'll have to serve them better. other cheek. Choose him. Just see how much better he's made me. Offend me and you'll see. Goodness. Today, 
day, Master, was consummated. Victory! I raise my arms to heaven with the pity! somewhere else. Yeah, they come rushing like a flight of dark birds. Seize me, yes, strike. Defend yourself, strike. Strike me first, my masters. Spear of the deserts, cross the sea, strike the belly. Yes, strike the eyes. Give me your hand. <laughs> 